Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life of Logan. And on today's show, I want to ask you a question. How do you want it? That thing that you've been trying to go after, um, that goal that you've been telling people for months, for years even, that this is what I want to do in my life. This is where I'm trying to go with my life. Well, how bad do you really want it? What steps have you taken to actually get to that level? What have you done to attain that goal or to get yourself a little closer? Because with each day, we're given 24 hours to make something happen, to make something shake. So what have you done to ascend? And when I say when I say that, it's not to come down on anybody or make anybody feel bad, but it's really just to say, like, okay, you've been saying for some time now, you want to do this. You have this goal in mind. You have these lofty aspirations. You have just this end game that you've been talking about. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is what I'm going to do. And Where's your work? Show your work. The thing about it that I think all of us, myself included, fail to understand is you have to align your current life with where you're trying to go. It's all a process of reinvention. And the way I look at reinvention is it's a constant. As long as you keep living, you should be reinventing yourself every day. Really, throughout the day, you should be reinventing yourself. Because you only have one life to live. You only have one life to live. And do you want to live a life full of woulda, coulda, shoulda? Or do you want to live a life where you can look back and say, even if you found out that the goal wasn't for you at a later date, even if you found out that, nah, that's not really what I wanted, when you either got there or you got halfway there, at least you tried. But a lot of us don't want to put in the sacrifice that is going to have to be put in place to make your goal happen. Aligning yourself looks like Sacrificing in the moment and stopping with the, oh, well, I'll start next week. I'll start tomorrow. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, you know, we start today. Like, I'm a big proponent of, like, I just will wake up one morning and just say, we doing it today. Or sometimes it'll be in the middle of the day or in the midst of my day. And I'll say, yeah, I'm off that. Like, I'm off that old way of thinking. I'm off that, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not even going to bother with that old lifestyle, with the people, places, things, or whatever that, you know, once did something for me or brought something for me, that doesn't fit with where I'm trying to go now. So, it's done. And... I know a lot of people uh, have told me like, dang, you real cutthroat or whatever. Like for somebody who is emotionally intelligent and kind and everything, like you are very cutthroat. And I say, yeah, I am. Especially when it comes to me and my goals, especially when it comes to my aspirations and where I'm trying to go. Because I know where I'm trying to go. I know where I'm trying to go. And if I see or detect something in my atmosphere that is going to heed me from being there, then what are we doing? What's the point? Answer, there is none. So it's better just to remove that, whatever the distraction is, whatever the thing that may be holding you back or you feel like holding you back or whatever, um, and start today. Because the graveyards cemetery 
filled, the morgue filled with people who had plans on tomorrow or next week or next month. Tomorrow ain't promised. And we have lied to ourselves. We've lied to ourselves over the course of, shoot, not just you and I's lifetime, but the entire existence. Because that's the one thing people think we, people always think that they have is time. But the thing is, we don't know how much time that we have. That's why if it's something with self-improvement and self-improvement isn't just you going to the gym and working out. It isn't just you eating right. Self-improvement is you getting into counseling, you developing some better communication skills, uh, you learning how to process your emotions in a better way. Um, you may be having those difficult conversations with some people from your past to um, to gain the closure um, as long as you're ready to keep your composure. It's those things. That's what self-improvement is. Self-improvement is overall well-being and getting better at just climbing that ladder going higher and higher and higher and higher. That's what self-improvement is. And we get, um, we get bogged down by it. And some of it is because we're tied to the identity of who we are in the current moment. And it can be scary to improve yourself because you have to look and see the places where you've been, where you've had it wrong, where you've messed up, where you, you know, you could have done better, but you didn't for whatever reason. But that's why you should take advantage of the moment, not just, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll reach out to that person tomorrow. Man, that person gonna die. That person that person will die this day. Um, you know, you may die this day or whatever. Like, and do you really want it to go without anything being said? You know, because anything, any and everything can and will happen in life. And you don't really know how much time you have. So tomorrow isn't really a given that you'll be able to make those changes. You know what I'm saying? And I just want all of us to really understand that and just be aware of that because the new you is going to be the death of the old you. No other way to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to another video courtesy of Life of Logan TV. If you are new, please make sure that you subscribe and everybody who's already done it. Oh, geez. I appreciate you for still rocking with me on this journey. We are in the home stretch, as I say, of 2023, um, three months and we out of here. So we already should be in our 2024 mindset. So I look forward to talking to you all soon. And please make sure to share the video with anybody who you feel like can use it. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.